There, we're gonna talk to Mr. Locario and um, we're gonna share some game. I was peeping his videos online and I was like, this dude has some real game, man. So I uh, sent him an email, told him that we, we both got a link up, real, recognize real, and we're gonna make it happen today. We're gonna go out there and talk to him. We headed out to Midtown Manhattan. Talk to Mr. Locario, hopefully talk to a few chicks too. Um, I'm on um, 30th and 8th. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What's up, world? Gregory B. Good. I'm with Mr. Lacario. What's going on? What's going on, people? And, um, this cat, like the ratio of cable vision, it was like maybe two girls to every ten guys. Yeah. But this dude I'm talking about, he used to have chicks lining up at his desk. Wow. Just like, yo, could I go out with you tomorrow? Could I go out with you wow. the next day? Like, in, in other words, like, even though the ratio of women was small, because yeah. we, we used to do tech support. Yeah. He was bagging all, all of them, right? Yeah. So one time I asked him, I said, how come you go home with chicks at the club? He's like, I'm going to explain to you. I come to the club. I look at what's going on in the spot. I'm not looking at the ones. I'm, in other words, he was saying he's not looking at the hot ones. Mm -hmm. He's not looking like 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 the way everybody else is involved. Looking, at, at, the looking at the hot ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes. He's looking at the one or two that was feeling him. Mm -hmm. You know when you walk in, right? Yeah. There's always one or two. Yeah, there was like checking you. Yeah, exactly. One yeah. or two was like that. Mm -hmm. So he goes. He already got like like one or two like that that he was focused on. Exactly. And then now he just zeroes in on that. Mm -hmm. And it's just that easy. Exactly. Now you're right. You're that's right. that's crazy, man. It's, 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 and it's simple too. That's the thing. Dudes try to think that you know you gotta be out there and like you know think of all the things to say and think of I gotta make this happen. It's like no. this, you gotta just go out there and do it. You know what I'm saying? And the shit is is, is is that easy. You know what I mean? But it's, see, the thing is, a lot of guys they don't realize that it's persistence. So they think, okay, I'm gonna go out there, I talk to two girls, and ain't nothing happens. So they're like, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it's like, so you gotta keep, the worst. You gotta keep going. You know what I mean? There's so many. It's so because these chicks out here, they get they get dressed up, they want you, they want your attention. You know what I'm saying? They want to get with you. They trying to look for a dude that night. You know what I'm saying? What I'm saying? And women want to have sex. The thing is, is that we're in a society that tells women that you know, oh, if you're doing this, you're a whore or whatever. But the thing is, is that you as a man have to not think about her thinking about that see a lot of times when we try to get with women we think about how she's feeling all the time you just go there with your agenda and, and, and achieve your goal of getting with her you understand what i'm saying yes. like because the thing is, is that a woman kind of wants your permission for her to be you sexual, you know. What I'm her to let you yeah, for exactly. her to open up. Exactly. So that's what it. That's what it is. But a lot of guys don't think that they're they're taking the lead of the woman. They're like, okay, what's gonna make you feel good? Or, or let me make sure she's okay. Let me, you know what I mean. So it's like instead of you coming in there being a man and saying, look, this is what I want to happen tonight, and I want to do this with you. End the story. You know what I'm saying? And either Yo, she's like down that. or she's not I down. Like you know that. what I'm saying? Then you move on to the next one. If she's not down, that's there's too strong. many. There's so many women. You know what I mean? So that's what it's about. Yo, Lucario, I, I like that. That's that's very that's very strong, man. Because like a lot of dudes, and I, I believe you talk about this on the first chapter of your book. A lot of dudes, they're they're just afraid of of approaching a lot of women. They they, they think if they um, talk to you know one or two women, like you were saying, that that's the all be all. And I mean, there's a part on on, on the book, the Magnificent Ten. Where, where you mentioned like, yeah, you might have a girl, but you might holler at her and she got her period, she's not in a good mood, and then now you only had just one other girl to call, and then now you asked out. Exactly. But if you're doing the right thing, uh, according to the, the Magnificent Ten, 
you're gonna have like dozens of chicks that you're hollering at, and you know if your man squeezes fronting on you, you're gonna call the other, you know, you're gonna call the the, the backup team, you're, you're gonna call the bench squad. You know what I mean? So so I mean like I mean like that, that in itself I mean it's crazy because I I think that was like the first chapter. Yeah. Holler at a lot of women, and I mean there's there's a lot of there's a lot of things that we we already know just from just from interacting with our homeboys yeah. just from being around you know friends that's good with this stuff mm. but when when i read about it on your book mm. i enjoyed it because i'm yeah. like i'm like yo i'm you know this this dude he's speaking truths yeah. you know what yeah. i'm saying yeah. and and to, to to be frank with you if we had to go talk to like 10 chicks right now mm and tell them, do you think a dude that only talks to one or two girls is stupid? Mm -hmm. Five of them are gonna say yes. Mm -hmm. The other five, they're gonna lie about it, yeah, of course. Exactly. But um, what, what you dudes gotta understand is that if you're stupid enough to just have just one or two women in your life, when she dumps you, uh, depending on, on, on your skill set, it might take you weeks, even months to get a new chick, son. Mm -hmm. You know, dudes, dudes like myself in Locario, we could bag a new chick right now. <laughs> you know, it's nothing. But for you, it might take you a while. So make sure that you talk to a lot of chicks.